Okay, folks, look, don't trip. I got it. Looking behind me right now, you know, obviously, this is not my kitchen, but I got my nephew right here, right? Listen, he done invited me to come on out. We getting ready to cook out of the cookbook, right? So, best of both worlds. You guys heard it. You know it. My world, his world. Hence the title, Best of Both Worlds. I'm not finna over talk. I'm gonna let you do your thing, mate, because you are very good at what you do, bro. For sure. So we got A B from the West Coast to the East Coast. We're here in Virginia today and we're frying up some chicken wings. Football season's in full swing. Yes, sir. Hopefully your team's doing better than mine. One thing's for sure though, your team might let you down, but this chicken wing recipe will not let you down, and neither will this cookbook. Now, with that being said, we finna get started. All right, so look, we're going to go over these ingredients. And we already told you that everything is in uh, the cookbook, best of both worlds, right? So listen, right here, we got about 36 wings. Oh, man, I almost said you almost had all flats, but I see some uh, drums. We got some too. drums. I'm a drum yeah. guy, personally. Yeah. It's all good. Hey, it's all chicken. I do it all. Then we're going to be using Mr. Make It Happen. Look, this is an AP sauce. This right here is fire. We got our uh, cornstarch. This is already seasoned. You guys are going to need to get yourself like some type of staging. So I use a pan, line it with foil. You know what I mean? So when I coat. I sit them right here. That gives it a little bit of time for everything to go. Listen, man, I feel like a ramp. Come on, nephew. That's all. I'm gonna let you. I don't want to interrupt. No, 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 we're gonna no, AB do the. Man. We're gonna let AB do the frying. I'm on the sauces today. Today yeah. I'm making lemon bay sauce, which is basically like lemon pepper with an old bay fusion, a little butter, uh, some lemon zest, and then we're also gonna do a garlic parm. You guys are in for a treat. It's gonna be delicious. Set your game day off next time. That's right. Appetizer time. Let's get it. All right, so what I'm doing now is just going to prep the garlic for the garlic parm. We're going to peel and dice this up. I also have a little garlic paste. If you want to cheat, you can grab that from the store. A little bit expensive, but it's a little bit milder in flavor than fresh garlic. So I'm going to do a little bit of both, a little combination. And then when you get over here, like I said, this is cornstarch. We already got it seasoned. I just like to get all of this coated right here. And I don't know if you guys didn't know, a lot of wings start off just being fried, right? So listen, when you have them that way, then you can toss them in any type of sauce you want. That's what makes them, you know, great for appetizer time. Right? So now I just hit these up against the side right here. There you and go. I'll just start staging them just like that. You a blue cheese or a ranch guy? Blue cheese. Okay. You weren't expecting that? I like both. Yeah, I wasn't, honestly. But <laughs> I like, that's a good answer. <laughs> I like both. I usually order both. I like the, I like variety. Right, right. Sometimes I want to go blue cheese. Sometimes I want to go ranch. Oh, uh, but I've been doing ranch so long. Like now that I'm turned on to really like the blue cheese, that's my tool of choice, right? Nothing wrong with that. All right. So listen, you guys were just looking at. You saw that I was doing everything in this little pan, right? So listen, we're just gonna keep it old school, just the way our grandparents used to do. You know what I mean? Remember when Big Mama was in the kitchen? And now we're just gonna go ahead and just coat. So you guys don't have a paper bag like Granny did? You know what I mean? We'll go ahead and use a Ziploc, you know, gallon bag. Get the job done. Get the job done. All right? Take it, and look, this is key. Keep your oil from being so dirty. You make sure you wanna shake off all of the flour or cornstarch, whatever you guys are using. You know what I mean? Hopefully it's a cornstarch flour mix, or you can do all cornstarch. Nice size wings, so I hate the super big wings. Right, right. I like too. a nice medium sized chicken wing. And to be honest with you, man, who want to do all that trimming? Right. You know? These are beautiful. Shout out to Wegmans. Y'all don't got Wegmans on the West Coast. No. Hey, but I can tell you one restaurant, I mean, one uh, supermarket that I do like that we don't have out there either, and that's a H-E-B, man. Yeah, that's big in Texas. Only in Texas, right? I think it's only in I Texas. I think only, right? Huh. All right, so look, if you guys come down here and take a look at this, remember they was like, you know, kind of like on the bleach white. Not so much bleach white because we had them seasoned, you know, had our cornstarch seasoned, right? But after it sits on there, look how it changes color. It soaks on there. This way we won't lose all of our, uh, our bread, right? So look, these need to go just a little longer. Now, I'm not finna take a whole lot of time, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start bringing my oil up to temp. Good pro tip. Great uh, idea to make sure that the wings have a little time to, to soak up the, uh, the breading. That way it kind of really adheres to the exterior of the chicken. Get that good crust. That yeah. way you get it on, on the chicken and not burning up at the bottom of your fryer. Yes, sir. While AB gets the oil up to 350 degrees, I'm gonna go ahead and start on our first sauce of the day, which is gonna be Lemon Bay. Those of you guys that don't know, that's my own seasoning. It's basically a blend of lemon pepper and Old Bay. If they had a love child, that's what that would be right there. You can grab that from MrMakeItHappen.com. It's also, the recipe is in the Best of Both Worlds cookbook that you guys can grab too. So what we're gonna do is melt a stick of butter. We're gonna grate some lemon zest in there, a little lemon juice, a little chicken bouillon powder, and lemon bay seasoning. 
Hey, now speaking of, you know, the cookbook, don't forget, anybody that buys a cookbook, you know, from now till the end of the year, all cookbooks will be signed by myself and Mr. Make It Happen, Matt. And we're giving you 15% off with the code Vegas. So not Ooh. only are you going to get a signed copy from the both of us, but you're also going to save 15% if you buy right now. That's bestofbothworldscookbook.com or just click the link down below in the description box. Don't forget, if you guys looking to give a... Uh, Give a gift. Why not give the gift of both best of both worlds? There you go. You know what I mean? All right, guys. So we got one stick of butter melted nicely here. What I'm going to do now is squeeze in a little lemon juice, about a teaspoon or two. You don't want to go too crazy. You don't want it to be have a, like a bite of you know acidity. Just want to get that flavor in there. Then I'm going to take my micro plane and just grate a little lemon zest in there as well. What I like about the lemon zest is you get the flavor without the acid. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. And let's get that lemon zest on in there. Hey, listen, That's, I want you guys, hey, not to cut you off, but I want you guys to pay attention. Look, he's not overdoing it. You see how he just gets the yellow, then rotates it? Mm -hmm. That's real, real key right there, folks. Listen, pro tips. Absolutely. If you get the white part, it's going to be a little bit on the bitter side. Hey, and to take it even one step further, pay attention to the size cut that he cut off of the lemon. Look at that. So if We call that a it, lemon cheek. Whew. So we're going to go ahead and grate that in there. We got the heat on low, going in with the lemon bay seasoning and just a pinch of chicken bouillon powder that's gonna beef up the chicken flavor. Don't need much of that because it is pretty salty. But that's just gonna amplify. We call that a flavor enhancer. So this is what we're gonna coat our wings in right here. And then you can hit it with a little bit more lemon bay seasoning after the finish. But that right there, my friends, is your lemon bay seasoning. That's what we're gonna be coating the wings. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our garlic parm. All right, guys, so here we have one stick of melted butter. This could be for our garlic parm sauce preparation. I'm going in with about four cloves of minced garlic for our fresh garlic flavor. I'm gonna add a little parsley to the party as well. And then I like to add about a tablespoon or so of this uh, garlic paste. This is gonna give us that garlic flavor without as much bite as the fresh garlic. That way you're kind of well-rounded, right? You don't want to do a whole bunch of fresh garlic because then it might be a little bit, you know, too much of that garlic flavor in there. Gonna mellow it out a little bit with that garlic paste. Gonna give that a good mix. I like to add a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil just to stretch things out. It also helps prevent the butter from burning. So we got that in there. And then I'm gonna season this up with a little bit of chicken bouillon powder. Again, a little bit of a flavor enhancer and some of my all purpose seasoning and a pinch of parsley just to add a little color. You don't want to add your Parmesan cheese until the very end because the Parmesan cheese will melt and it's not going to look pretty. So we add that Parmesan right at the very end. I'm going to season this to taste. And then we're good to go. Okay, fam. So listen, we got the uh, target temperature on our oil. It's already at 350 degrees. Honestly, we had 365. It might have done crept up while I'm talking to about 370. That's what you want, because when we start putting them in, check it out, I still shake them. When you take them and you start putting them in here, and as it starts to get crowded, even though these have already been at room temperature, you know, the temperature just drops. You know what I mean? So we just want to try to maintain 350 degrees. Great pro tip, because if you put them in a bunch of cold wings and 350 degree oil, you could end up with 325 degree oil. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, even lower than that, man. Yeah. Like 290. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? how much you put in there. Right, right, right. Me just rushing. That's another reason why it's good to let your protein come up to uh, room temperature. That way it doesn't you know, drastically reduce the temperature as much. All right, so if you guys come here and take a look at this right here, I just want to show you this part. Earlier, I had to like lift up the tray, right? But if you see right here, look, they all floating. That's a telltale sign that they're ready. And then if you look at the color, look at that right there. That's it. Look. Golden brown and beautiful. Yes, sir. Now, for those of you guys that know, by using all cornstarch, make them super crispy coming out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these. I'm not finna bore you. Me. Now, once you got it out, right? I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm trying to set you guys up for success, right? Usually when people uh, 
they go ahead and make fried chicken or anything fried. They after they take them out, they just go ahead and dump some more in there. Right. Key is get yourself a meat thermometer or whatever way you are to check, and then you want to check your you know your temperature or your oil. Right. Right now we went down to 320. We want to get back to 350 degrees, yep. and then we add. That's the key. That's the key to consistency. Yes, sure. sir. Meanwhile, while the oil is coming up to temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and sauce these wings. Lemon Bay is up first. You guys can hear how crispy the wings are. I'm gonna coat them nicely. Look at that color, folks. Immediately they turn yellow. And we'll give them a toss. All right, guys, the other batch of wings is ready. You can hear how crispy they are. Then we got our garlic butter sauce. Get that in there, hold on. No flavor left behind. Gotta get all the good stuff out of there. And now is when, after you toss them once, now is when you wanna add that Parmesan cheese. You don't wanna do it too soon. Hit them with that parm. Yes, sir. Don't be shy with the good stuff. I say we, I say we grade a little bit too. I ain't mad at that either. Huh? So I wouldn't be mad at that either. A little secret ingredient right there. There you go. All right. Now, even though me and Matt out here making, you know, making the wings, right? Showing two different types of wings, which is in the cookbook, right? But I want to let you know that anytime I go somewhere, listen, we doing some burning. Take a look right there. Ooh, we folks. All I got to do is go like this. Ooh, I don't want to like splash nothing, but take a look. Got that smoked turkey, folks. Yes, sir. Now listen, I'm not finna over talk it. You guys see two different types of wings right here. Obviously, we loaded up on this side right here. Cause look, this is what everybody wanted. Listen, both of them are equally as good. Don't forget it's in the cookbook. I'm not finna over talk this, homie. I'm finna reach around here and grab one of these. Look at that right there. You can see that parm. Loving the garnish. You know what I mean? Oh, and you got that blue cheese. I'm gonna you go first. Ahead. Guess first. Yes, first. Age huh? before beauty, as, okay. as they say. No problem, nephew. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. about 15 of these. Oh man, these are right. Not too tough. You know, when you bite your drum at, sometimes mm. it get tough over, over at the top. Mm. Nice and juicy. Don't mm. get better than that. Nice, clean, cooked through and true. Now this is it right here. Now listen, the reason we talking to you guys about this right now, because listen, fall season is, is amongst us right now. Look, we got the holidays coming up. You guys looking for a gift to give somebody that's in the kitchen, a future uh, chef, or just want to have a nice table book in your kitchen, right? Or on your uh, coffee table. This is it right here. Now listen, I'm not finna over talk it. Don't forget both recipes inside of the uh, cookbook. It's all you, youngster. If you guys want the best of both worlds cookbook, you can grab it right now and save 15% with the code Vegas and you get a signed copy from the both of us. Can't beat that deal. Getting a signed copy from he and I. 15% off with the code Vegas. See you next time. You know how I do. You know how I leave all of my videos, right? We're going to do it like this. I'm going to grab one of these. He's going to grab one of these. I'm going to dump mine. And I'm out. Peace. Peace.